Hello guys and welcome to another Applied Energy 62 video. In this one I will talk about the coprocessor and well and nothing else actually because this is a question I get now and then and I understand that this might be hard to get a good grip on but I will try to explain to you why do you need a coprocessing unit and when do you need one and what benefits do you get when using it? So I will do this in a few examples. I will use basic recipes to prove my point and I hope you will be able to follow and um, because it's not very obvious exactly how it works. Okay, let's get started. Basically, you can say that the main purpose of the coprocessing unit is to make crafting faster. It's a pretty vague thing to say because there are three ways you can do to improve the speed in which you can autocraft. And uh, most of them, well, all of them will require the coprocessing unit at times. Not always, but I will demonstrate that. So let's, uh, there are three ways. The first thing you can do is to just add more molecular assemblers to one interface. So here I have one and I can add up to six from connected to one assembler. So that's one thing to do and that will make things faster because you can craft things in in several uh, assemblers at the same time. Okay, that's number one. The second way is to spread items or spread the, the recipes out. So in this one we are crafting planks and then we are crafting crafting tables in this one. So you can spread it out so you can make, yeah, be more efficient basically. And the third one is to bump up the assemblers with acceleration cards. So you can do like this, and then this will be much, much faster. And that will also require co-processing units. So let's start with the basic one. This is the most basic auto-crafting you can do with molecular assemblers and interface. Here I have planks and crafting table. So if we order this, let's order like 20 of them. Ready, set, go. Now, here you can see that we're, for, we're crafting one by one. We can see it over here as well. First all the planks and then all the crafting monitors. Or, sorry, the crafting tables. We can see it in the crafting monitor. Not very fast. I'll give you that. And please remember that it. I have the most basic crafting storage here. If I replace this with a 16k, so a much higher tier of crafting storage, and I do the same thing, 20 I think. It's the same speed. It still takes roughly 20 seconds to do this. And uh, so, so this won't increase the speed in, of, uh, in which, which you're crafting it because it's only changing in the maximum job size. So now we can craft, I don't know, let's see, can we craft a thousand? Yeah, thousand would require 8k and if we have a normal CPU, this is kind of a sidetrack, as you can see 8k but we have no processor. So. This doesn't matter at all. You can have lots of storage, it doesn't affect the speed at all. So, but I said that the coprocessing does. So if we add this to the crafting processor, we're crafting a CPU, and we make 20 more, we're not actually gaining much. We might gain a little to make it more efficient, but basically I think it takes the same time anyway. Yeah, it might be. Actually, it might be exactly the same. 
because we can't do things at the same time because we have nowhere else to do it, right? We still, we're still doing the crafting in this assembler from this interface and even though they can make 100 things at the same time, they are still queued in the same interface. So now if we remove this one and we'll do like this, we have crafting table and planks. We remove that again. And now we're doing this. Let's make 20 more. Now we can see that we're doing things at the same time in two places. So things are going much faster. That's good. That's very good. So that's one way to make things faster. Spread out the patterns, especially those ones who are chained to each other. So if we're doing, you shouldn't have all the tools here and like all planks and tools here to make, um, well, wooden hoe. That's a three step pattern. And if we have all of them in the same one, we'll just st still just queue it up. So that's, uh, it's better to spread them out, have a plan. You should know what recipes you will use very often and what basically what amounts you're using in them as well. So, okay, that's one thing. Now, if we add more of these, we can actually break this and we'll go back to the first, first setup, but with three assemblers. Now let's see how long time does this take. You can see we're crafting planks much faster and then the tables much faster. So quite fast. And now when we're starting to have a few, I actually think we can gain just a little by having a... Yeah, I think we're gaining some a few percent or something it, it makes them more efficient but we can't use uh, i think the maximum number of uh, jobs you can do at the same time or actions perhaps is a better word because if we add more of these assemblers here and we have no crafting cpu and we do the same thing now let's take a look. See that we are only using three of them. And then I think this was roughly the same as with only three. Because we can't do things at the same time in more than three assemblers at the same time. But if we add one more co-processing unit like this, 20 of these. Now you can see, now we're using all six at the same time and things are really going fast. So that's um, quite impressive speed. And you know what? We can even do like this and go crazy on this. Hook things up again. Oh yeah, they're connected like this. Um, I think we would need more coprocessors. Yeah, you can see there are lots of them are empty still because, well, we probably need, I think we'll actually need one more to really fill this up if the, yep, you can see we have some empty ones. So uh, like that, then we need lots of crafting co-processors now it's fast so we need more pro co <laughs> we need more co-processors to uh, fill out for every three we'll need one more well I think I can use that as a rough number so things are really moving quickly when we do it like this but you will not need a lot of assemblers and uh, yeah that can be quite expensive. Um, we can actually take a look at the next type of recipes. 
doing uh, sticks and yeah and a hole I'm doing six of them we should need only one let's craft ourselves 30 hoes and you see we're using all of them at the same time and things are quite quick now we can do the same thing over here you don't have to mm, like that and let's hook things up now we have the same recipes in both of them you can do that as well and that also works so if we craft ourselves 30 hoes oh we have no processors so not that fast right now but if we add one and two more that should make us 30 hoes in no time. Well, quite fast, quite good. If, if we want a lot of hoes, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we can spread things out. We can multiply the, the patterns. We can uh, add coprocessors to use more assemblers at the same time. Now let's take a look at the final thing with acceleration cards because I said that that also requires, let's go over here, we'll have it here. Yep, three of them, that's good. So what do we have here? We have uh, the same recipes over here. So now if we craft ourselves ourselves well 40 of them okay we can use all of them at the same time now have extra coprocessors but it doesn't really matter much it's a slightly faster than having none but not much at all since we're queuing all of them in the same ones so let's see how these react to maximum stack maximum number of acceleration cards what do you say 40 here you can see that things are really popping up very good but i said that since we all have only three we won't require any co-processors well that doesn't apply anymore now if we take a look since we added all these acceleration cards, we need extra or extra crafting CPU power to do to handle that. And if we add the same thing over here, and we do the same job again with 40, well, it's just it's not enough. Things are not very fast. Well, they're quite fast, but not that impressive since we have two more assemblers, but they are not being used. So if we add one more, let's see, 40. We can use two of them at the same time. And if we now add, fill this one as well, and I think that should be enough. I think see all of them running in maximum speed so we need one crafting storage can handle one assembler filled with acceleration cards and they are kind of if you only have three perhaps in this and three in that one perhaps you're good with only one crafting or with no crafting storage you can play around but fill fill them with acceleration cards and you will need one more coprocessor for each and every one so that's um yeah remember that and uh, i don't think i needed this last one nope i think we can call it there i hope that this will generate a lot of interesting discussions so please leave your comments and your experiences and 
your questions in the uh, comment section and I'll try to answer them and then let's have a good discussion. In any way, I hope this helped to share some light over the co-processing unit. If I make a follow-up video, I will post it in the video description. So always check there, kind of at the top, I guess. So check the description for more information about the subject. I hope this helps and I hope you will watch the next video as well. I will see you then. Take care. Bye bye.